What's up, you guys? This is Matthew Sherrod from Knoxville, Tennessee, Team Lad 264, and this is what's in my bag. First, let's start off with my main putters. I carry BT hard shields. I swear they have magnets in them. They go in the basket every time. Love it. For off the tee putters, I carry harps and sh uh, judges. First, my judges. I carry two classic blend judges that vary in, in uh, stability. This is my Vita Plastic Blend Judge. It's nice for hazard flips. They're uh, it's very understable, real reliable in the woods. And I carry a newer Classic Blend Judge uh, for straight. So a little bit of a hazard finish, not much. Pretty much a laser beam. And I carry a Fusion Judge for uh, for a little bit longer hazard shots. It doesn't uh, it doesn't go to the right too often. Real reliable. And I carry two. Harps, a BT medium harp, and a VIP harp. The BT medium's a little beat up, goes straight for a little bit, and then always dives left towards the end. Then the VIP harp, it's real beefy, real reliable, a lot of glide, awesome disc, pokes to the left every time, wind or not. And for mid ranges, I carry three truths that range in stability. I carry Moonshine Truth with a Bowling Green stamp. I can throw this one a little bit of hyzer. It'll hook to the right, or fade to the right slowly, real nice. I carry a Biofusion Truth, so I can, again, a little bit of hyzer, but instead of it fading to the right at the end, or throughout the flight, it'll just pop up and, and ride on a straight line. And then, and then a Lucid Truth for my straight to hyzer finish. If I give it hyzer, it'll go left. If I give it a little bit any, it will go right, but I don't do that too often, that's what these are for. This is, it does what I want it to do though, real reliable. And then I carry a verdict for my overstable mid ranges, Lucid First Run Verdict. This thing, awesome headwind or not, I know where it's going to go. For my fairway drivers, I carry three St. Pros, a Moonshine St. Pro for my Anheuser's, an Opto St. Pro for my straight shots, and then a Gold Line Deco Die St. Pro for my hyzers. I love this thing. It does exactly what I want it to do every time. Every time. Then I throw a Triple X for Thumbers, Tomahawks, Meat Hook Flicks, Meat Hook Backhand, Skip Shots. This thing is real, real reliable, real trustworthy, real stable. Good utility just to have. And I carry for my distance drivers. For my rollers, I carry a Lava Gold Line Havoc. This thing, I can throw it flat and it'll uh, it'll get on the perfect angle to go a mile on a roller. Or I can give a little bit of ante and it'll hook to the right real nicely. Good for low ceilings too. And for my max distance, I throw a Pop Top Tournament Plastic King. This thing, throw with hyzer up in the air, it'll it'll get a slow pan out and then come back. This thing, I've never thrown a disc that goes as far as this thing does. It's awesome. Throw three Giants. This one's a VIP Giant. It's beat up, seasoned really well. I can throw a little bit of hyzer to go straight. Not beat up enough to go on Andy's yet, still working on that. New to throwing Giants, but I'm loving it so far. This is a, a Matt White Giant. Again, normally these are pretty stable, but this one's beat up, so it 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 uh it flies similar to the the orange VIP. It's a great backup to have. Sometimes I just fill in this one more. When that's the case, I throw this one. And then for my overstable giant, I carry another tournament classic giant. This one's pretty new, um, not too beat up. Real good shot, real good disc. Always uh always makes a nice shot. Skips a lot too, if you want it, and if not, stay still. Then I, uh, I carry for my absolute most overstable shot needed, believe it or not, I throw a king, again, just like my max distance disc, but this one, extremely flat, this thing is just absolute meat hook, I can barely get this thing like 360, I mean it, it goes doesn't go far, but it goes there really quick. 
skips a ton. Skips farther than it flies, probably. For in the bag, I carry a lot of towels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven towels. You know, you know my discs will stay dry on the course, that's for sure. Then I carry a rain jacket, and I carry gloves, just in case my hands are cold, because these winters right now. But I carry a rain jacket to stay, to stay dry. Real, real useful. Always want to carry a rain jacket on the course, just in case. I, I want to emphasize how big this pocket is. This bag is amazing. I want to point out, look at how deep my hand is going in this pocket. If you're looking for a bag that carries a lot, this is the bag for you. This thing is incredible. And it's really comfortable too. On the side pockets, right here, I carry a lot of my first aid stuff. I carry my inhaler. Some, some uh, athlete's tape, adhesive tape. Waterproof. It's good for, uh, you know, if I'm snapping and it uh, starts cutting my finger. I can put that on and it'll help that out. I carry a lighter in case I get like a nick in the disc or something. I have two things of chapstick just in case. I Really, I don't need two. I've got, I just need one, but I've got two in here just in case. In case I want cherry instead of uh, Burt's beeswax, you know? In case I just want something different. I like to switch it up. And then I have ibuprofen. You know, for those bad rounds when you start getting a headache, it's it's pretty full because I don't really have too too many bad rounds. But in case I do, or if you have a bad round, let me know. I got you on some ibuprofen, some uh, icy hot. I mean, you know why icy hot? It's it's really useful if you got a sore elbow from smashing it out there. I'm not too familiar with that, but some of my friends need it, and I like to help out. And I got some toenail clippers and fingernail clippers for if you uh, need the manicure on the course, you realize that your fingernails are too long and that's why you're snapping it and it's cutting your finger. You got the tape to fix the finger. You got the fingernails to prevent that from happening again anytime too soon. I think that's everything in that pocket. So I like to stay prepared like a Boy Scout. On this side, I've got my wallet, phone, and car keys. I think that's it on that side. On the bottom here, rainy days or really hot days when my hands sweaty. Got a Brady bag. These things save save rounds. I've got an extra mini. By the way, I use a glass orange and white mini. Go balls. It's my lucky mini, but got an extra one just in case I lose it. And then on the side pocket right here, got a lot of peanut butter crackers. Always, you can never have too many snacks on the course. So, a little low, I got to pack it back up. And we got some Tic Tacs. You know, always stay making fresh. And then, uh, I don't normally keep one of these in the uh, pocket, but for your cups, I've got a, uh, a Neuro Sonic Energy Refresh drink, empty. Uh, I believe that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. If you need, uh, need to see me throw any of it, let me know. That's what's in my bag.